Hi everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Crowd. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is project number seven and the last of my Easter uh, series 2018. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've received so many lovely comments and messages and as always you just you make me feel so happy you guys you're just great so this is the one that we're finishing off with um the box the actual bag itself is the same as the mini handbag the dinky handbag and another handbag that i've made so i'll share all the links for those um and these i actually made a few years ago and um, I made bunnies and chicks, so I'm going to show you how to put the bunny together in terms of the accessories. Um, but I'm actually going to make the chick for the tutorial, which is really, really cute as well. And it's just a really nice, very simple, he's got a lovely little fluffy tail on him as well. Stands up really nicely, and then you just lift it up, it's got a velcro dot there, and plenty of room for treats. And I've got little um, mini eggs that are going to be going in side of this one so what you need is bring in everything i've got here so i've already made my other bunny because i have been requested to do two bunnies and a chick so that's what i've got um this is the piece that you will have left over once you cut your piece of 12 by 12 which is what this one's made from you'll have this piece left over and this is what you'll be using to make your bunny ears or any um kind of accessories and stuff if you're using white because it's the white um, piece here which is the background for the ears so um, just keep all your scraps basically because you'll need them punches I'm using today I've got a two inch circle punch and I've got this one inch circle punch so if you've got don't have punches but you've got dies then just um, get any dies that are roughly that kind of measurement um, I've got hole punch but I also need the bigger one I've got the wrong one there and then I've got all these little bits which are for my bunny I've already done some of his feet and stuff there and then I've got all the bits here for the chick as well. So I'm going to talk you through everything. They're really fun to make. And they almost have little characters because everybody will put their kind of, you know, details in different places. And even just by moving the eyes out slightly or higher, you just give him a completely different face. So it's quite fun to do as well. Right. First of all, let's get straight into it. So with your piece of 12 by 12, I've got this really nice, um, rich yellow colour. And this is from the... Um, Ooh, Paper Mania um, Colossal Colour Pack, 75 pages, I'll share all the links, but it's, it's beautiful card, so I've been using that a lot lately. So pick a 12 inch side and you're going to score at 4 and 3 eighths of an inch, 5 and 7 eighths of an inch, 10 and a quarter, and 11 and 3 quarters. And you should be left with a tiny little um, quarter inch tab here on the right hand side. Then rotate, and you want to score at 1 and a half, and at eight. Okay, so that is all the scoring done. Let's get rid of the scoreboard, and then you just want to burnish all of those score lines. Okay, so that's everything burnished there. So with your one and a half inch tab at the bottom and your tiny little quarter of an inch inch tab on the right hand side, just grab a pencil and just put a cross in the large this kind of small rectangle, the big square and the other small rectangle. Just put a cross in those ones. We're going to be cutting that whole section out. Um, yeah, so if we just crack straight into that now. So I was going to think about doing the decoration. We'll do that bit after. So just cut all the way down. Really nice and neatly. I'm removing that bulky bit of the score line. So I'm just cutting that out completely. And then really neatly because this is obviously the flap part of your little box or bag that's going to be folded over. Just remove that completely, okay? So again, with that quarter inch tab on the right hand side, that's now what you should have. Then along the bo bottom, you've got that one and a half inch tab. I just want to cut up each of these. And then that very end one, you're going to remove completely. And just cut it on a little angle there. I've just notched off the ends of my tab. And then just with the two small squares here, as always, just remove little wedges. Just so it makes it all nice and neat when we come to fold it all together. Like so. I'm just going to remove any bulky bits there of the score line as well. Okay, so that's that all done. Now with this um, 
piece here, just flip it around. So now what we want to do is just round off these two corners here just to create like a face really for whatever animal it is that you're doing. So I've just got a, a frame, you know, circle die here and with a pencil all I'm going to do is just line it up so the circle is hitting the side here and then also comes down to the bottom here and just round off the corner there and again on this side pop that down like so and just draw it like that and then just very neatly you can rub out obviously any pencil but you just want to go over and just cut it out okay and then just just rub out a tiny little bit there you can't see any okay just take off a little bit there just to smooth out those sides there we go so now that is the shape that you will have. Then we're going to run some red tape down on this side. Just remove your backing, turn that one over and turn this one. Make sure this is completely flat first on this side first and as it is push it down kind of you know drag it towards it there and you'll get it completely flush okay. So now you can see it all coming together and this is going to flip over in a minute but before we do all of that turn it over and we can start to decorate and make him Kind of come to life. So what you are going to need is lots of orange bits and pieces and I've got a little orange tail. I mean I know it's fluffy and well, I guess little chicks they are quite fluffy so I've, I've used a fluffy tail but you could uh, cut lots of um, paper like shredded and kind of have like a, a that kind of effect but it's entirely up to you. Okay so you need one piece of um, one by one, one piece of two by two, no hang on a minute, one piece of one by one, two pieces of two by two, and two pieces of two by three. Okay, this one by one piece, all you want to do is from corner to corner fold it in half. Okay, and if you didn't want to do it and you just want one, you don't want it. Basically, this is going to have his little beak, it's going to be open like so. If you don't want that, you could just then cut down there and just stick that whole triangle on the paper. But I've that was one I'm showing you. This is the one I've got ready. I'm going to run some glue along there and we're going to just stick it right at the bottom here, facing upwards. So it's 3D and it will just look like he's talking. Okay. Then with your pieces of two by two, this is what I've already cut. So I'm now going to show you what I've done on here. So I'm just going to rub that measurement out and then very easily. And again, don't matter if you're you know, a bit wonky and things like that. It's it's not meant to look completely perfect, you know. So um, basically, you just want to kind of start cutting in three quarters of the way up, like so. You can see what I'm doing there. Going straight around in a like a curve angle. Come down again, about three quarters of the way back down. All right, come back up again, and then you want to line your scissors up with this point here and kind of start going straight up like so and again curve it round come back down and then go back up the other side and again just trim that off and then just round off your edges like so once you've done that one stick it over your other piece of two by two trace around it or just cut around it and then you'll get two feet the same but there I have my two little feet and basically they are going to go like so on the bottom. Obviously once he's, he all comes together it's going to make a lot more sense but that's that and then he's got his little kind of wings so this is from the two by three piece so again just rub that bit out there. Along the long side here so this long side here you're just going to cut in how far in did I go? So it's kind of like, say half an inch up from each end there and just kind of come around and just cut it and then you want to do like a, I don't even know what this kind of pattern is but you can kind of see what I'm doing like so and you will have these two wings. All right, now mine are considerably different to the other, so I'm going to trace around that one again in a minute, and I'm going to trace around my foot again in a minute, which is what you will do, because I want to make sure that mine are both the same, but that is basically what you do to get those pieces. And then obviously we've got our beak there as well. Okay, so I've just traced over and cut mine out. So that's what you should have now, is these kind of two little wings, two feet, and his beak, 
and obviously the tail there. And then also I've die cut um, a circle here which measures, this piece is roughly three and three eighths of an inch. So I keep going out for you there. Yeah, about three and three eighths diameter. And then you just want to cut it in half. And it's basically going to be like his belly. So it's going to go at the bottom here. So you just want to cut it in half. Or kind of, I mean, you could have it if you want it quite high. So I'm probably going to cut mine straight across like so. And that's going to sit along the bottom. And then you imagine his little feet are going to be like this. Like so. Okay, so that's the kind of look that we're going for. Um, okay, let's do, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, and the hair. Totally forgot about his hair. Let me just grab a piece of scrap. And the best thing for these, I've used these before when I make my tassels. And these are <laughs> for the kitchen, but they are um, these kind of shredding scissors. So you can cut like vegetables and stuff. And they're great in the craft room because you can shred a paper. So all I'm going to do is I don't need loads, so just line it up. They're very, very sharp, so do be careful. Um, and just cut like so. Go along to the next one. And again, try and get, there we go, close up as I can, like so. Then I'm going to cut it, not right, obviously I don't want to cut them off so they'll fall apart, so I'm just going to cut it out, like so. Then with your bone folder, curl all the bits. Oh, I've just broke one off, that's okay, because I'm going to roll it together anyway, like so. Then I'm going to put it in half, so they all kind of, all like, you know, mesh into each other. Get a little bit of my glue, and put some glue in there. Fold that in half, like so. And then we can attach that in a minute and it's basically just gonna go up at the back and it's like there's the little tufty bit on the top of the chicks or the whatever. Again, it's just having fun with it. So kind of make up bits if you, if you want, do what you want. Right, let's add the belly. So get this stuck down first. This one is gonna go like so. Just make sure you get it obviously nice and centered. Like so, and then again the little feet. So I'm gonna have it slightly off at an angle, I think. So again, I'm not putting too much on. It's just to keep it in place. I'm gonna put it slightly up on an angle, like so. But you can see already how fun it's gonna look. Okay, we'll do the wings in a bit, and then if you just pinch in the sides like so, okay, and then this bit will come down over like so, all right, and then we want to put his little beak is going to go down quite near the bottom, okay, like so, so all I'm going to do is put, run a little bit of my glue just on that folded part, so we want it to be slightly raised, so again just fold that down and I'm going to just make sure it's nice and even. Can you see? It's starting to come together. Cute little chick. These go down so well with the kids. They absolutely adore these. So again, that's that one there. Then the little wings. So we're going to have one. I'm going to have it. I'd say have the bottom of the wing in line with the bottom of his beak. I think that gives you kind of a nice balanced look. Again, play around with it. It's surprising when you move it how different it looks overall. So I'm just gonna hold that one in place. So, on the side. Then with the eyes, I've just got some black card and just with your hole punch, just cut out a couple. You can use little goggly eyes as well. I've used those before. And then just grab little my tweezers, little... put a little bit of glue there and just bit on the back and then bring them again like I said if you put it up there it gives them a really strange look if you go out wide you can kind of see how it's going to look I'm going to go in because I want him quite cute looking so if you go quite close together give him that really cute little face and again put that one about there there we go 
How sweet is that? <laughs> then we need to add the hair. So this is going to the hair, but that's going to go at the top like so. Oh, I absolutely love him. He's so, so cute. Um, just pop that down in the middle. And it all looks really nice and neat on the back as well. Okay. So just let that set. And then while we're on the back, I've got the little tail. Splodge some glue. You can use hot glue if you want, but this stuff's fine. And it's going to go in the middle, just above that score line there. Take off that. Okay, so I'm just going to let that all dry before okay, I stick the base down. Okay, and then down. we now need to add the Velcro. So I've just got the same Velcro dots that I always use. Again, I'll share all the links. Pop it just underneath the beak there on the top of the lid. Bring it down and just apply some pressure on there. Obviously, we can just fold up his beak a little bit there because I don't want that. It's got to stay open like so. See, it's lifted. And then all we need to do now is stick down our base. So this piece, the, fr the front piece, you want to go down last. So I'm just going to push that up. I'm going to put the back one down first. Okay, so you get a nice closure. And just bring down the last one. Turn it up on its side. Open up the front. And just with your ruler, you can just push down the base there and make sure that glue all spread out nicely and also just make sure your velcro is all pushed down as well keep making sure his beak stays open while that glues and just play around like I said you can keep curling the hair over however you want make him look a bit funky there and there you go there is one little chick Easter gift box love it now i'm going to quickly just show you how to decorate your bunny so you've got obviously one of each there so i had already done this piece so i've already cornered off the edges and everything as well like i said this is the leftover piece like you have this leftover piece of yellow but for the bunny you want to create the ears so my ears were yes yeah, so one and a half is fine so long if i just trim off these two bits here and it's just the same way as you do the feet really just kind of freestyle your ears so roughly one and a half wide and i'll do the other one coming out from this side like so and, and all i'm going to do is just kind of go up and around and then join back down like so I'll cut that one out and then I'll just trace it into that section there. So I'll just quickly that one cut out and then just put that again, line it up where I just done that pencil at the beginning and just trace around. So it's just how I done my unicorn bag as well. So again, I'll share that one if you want to do some, some fun little critters. Just rub out any of that pencil because you obviously really see so you've got two ears. White. Then I've got some scrap pink. All the other little bits here that I'll show you in a second. Scrap pinky colour. So the base, the bottom there is one and a half. So with the ears, I'm going to do them at one. So again, I'm going to just trim this down a bit because this is a really scrappy bit of scrap. <laughs> just kind of straighten off that edge a bit better. There we go. So again, I'm just marking this time one inch and I'll mark one inch again there, I'll do them together this time and exactly the same so I'm just going to come along and down and then I'll come, oh no I'm going to trace it, oh no I'll just draw this one again freehand like so, okay and then again just cut these two out, okay so now they're going to sit inside our ears like so, so just Grab some okay, glue. so that's our ears done. Then for the feet, this is when I used my two inch punch and I just punched um, two white circles. So there's one and there's the other one. Then with this one inch one, I punched in pink another die to go in the middle like so. And then with the same pink, I then used my hole punch and just punched four, or it would be eight, of these little 
I've got a stray one somewhere, I probably dropped it, I'll find that one in a minute. And basically you're just going to stick them like I have on this one, so bring this one inch one slightly down, so it's you know closer to here, um, and you then stick those four above it. You also want to die cut with the same, um, oh actually they were a bigger one, I'm sure you could use, yeah, that size. If you want, use the one inch. I think that was a one and a half inch punch actually for these ones, and then it's one inch for his little um, cheeks. Okay, I knew I used the one inch for something, but I think I must have used the circles um, for these, which would have been about one inch, one and a half inches, because it's in between. The little teeth here are half an inch by one inch. You want two pieces there. So if you just cut a piece of, um, actually, no, that doesn't look like a square. So it was one by one and a quarter so that and then you'll cut them in half to give you um, three eighths of an inch by one and a quarter and they will be his little teeth to make the uh, little whiskers here you want a piece of one by two and again just using my scissors if I can find them here you just want to cut three that one's maybe a bit thick. Let's go this end. I wasn't happy with that one. Just three thin whiskers. The last one cuts straight up and then you will cut out that whole piece. And then you can see there you get your little whiskers. So I've got two of those. And then you also want to punch out of black two little circles again to give you your eyes. Okay, so prep all of that. Also, you've got his nose and his tongue. So for the nose, just find the flat edge of card, um, maybe three eighths of an inch, and just do a semicircle cut. Again, if you've got a very small punch, you can do that and then just cut it in half. But that is his little nose. Do a little triangle nose if you want. I like a nice little curved nose. There's his little nose, cute. and again, for his tongue, so about a quarter of an inch, and again, just maybe three eighths of an inch long. I'll put all these measurements down in my blog, so don't worry. And you just want to round it off like so. Okay, so I'm going to get the okay, feet so stuck down. Okay, now I'm assembling it all. So the box is just how I did the yellow for the chick. Fold over the top, and then you're going to put your ears on the back here first of all. So you just want to run a little bit of glue just along the bottom. And again, slightly on an angle, stick that one down. And then again, the other one, just slightly on an angle. We'll curl them in a minute just to give them a bit more character. Okay, like so. Just kind of let that sit there and dry for a minute. Then we'll add the feet. So again, put some glue and then put them on an angle. The little toes on that side are going off to the left. And this one, they're going off to the right. We should just be touching in the middle, like so. Then what you want to do is get the teeth first of all, and do this separate. So, a little hair there in the way. So put a little bit of glue just on the top right hand corner there of one of the teeth. And then just overlap the top of it on that so you're giving a little gap. I'll just bring this up so you can see. Just like so. So just stick this one over the top so you've got a little gap here at the bottom. Again, just little details like that just give it a little bit more character. And then the two cheeks are going to sit over the top of your teeth. Now the further down you go, the more cuter it looks, the higher up he looks quite more comical. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just in the corner there and stick that one down. It's easy to do this not on there because if you make any mistakes you're not ruining your box. And just overlap the cheeks a little bit okay now why it's still a bit wet slide under your tongue until you're happy where it is because then you know it's all in position so I'm going quite high up with the tongue so a little bit of it sitting down sitting down poking out the end even if I just bring that up you can see what I've done there so the tongue is just slid up in between them and they overlapped a little bit okay then the nose is going to go above that and kind of cover the, the top part of the little cheeky bits. Again, just a little bit of glue. And just put that over there. 
I mean, everyone will look different. Like already he's looking different to the one that I've done. He still looks really cute. Now this is gonna go here. And it's gonna go quite near the bottom. I've got about one eighth of an inch showing there, okay? So just put some more glue on all of this. And make sure the teeth are in between the feet so you know you're getting it all nicely centered like so and then I'm going to put a little dollop of glue in the middle of each cheek this all dries clear this glue anyway and stick one down like so and then the other and try and get them sitting the same kind okay. of angle. Once that's dry, we'll spread them out a little bit. And then with your two eyes, what I'll do actually before that, just so it's easier, is get my other Velcro dot. Again, just put it under the lid, just below the teeth. Bring that down and just squash it. And then with the eyes, again, put a little bit of glue on my hand. And again, closer down and, uh, you know, the more like compact it all is, the like cuter so. it looks. And then just spread out these. Again, you can trim the whiskers down if you want. I'm quite happy with how they look. Turn him over. Again, spot a bit of glue in the tail. And put that on the back. If you haven't got any of these pom-poms, you could just die cut a white circle and then a smaller pink circle on top of each other. And again, that would look cute as well. You could also heat emboss a gold circle and that would look quite special. And then just with his ears, because now they're nice and set, I always have one, you always have one a rabbit with one floppy ear. So this one's gonna kind of bend right down. So I'm just rolling it between my finger and my ear and then the other one just curve it slightly. Like so. And his tail has just come off because I didn't let it sit, so I'm just going to sit so on the back have it. till it dries. How adorable are they? Love them. Little tails and then my gorgeous, super little funky chick. I absolutely love him as well. So there you have it. That is his tail. I'm still not giving it time to set. He needs to sit. I'm going to rest it down like so. There we go. Um, so there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed the last tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed the whole of this Easter series. I've thoroughly enjoyed making it and my baskets look so cool. I will post pictures up on my blog and on Facebook so you can see them in all their glory. But I hope I've given you like tons and tons of um, inspiration and um, you go off and make some wonderful Easter gifts. So um, yeah, that's it. Please subscribe if you want to continue seeing fun projects from me and hit that like button if you enjoyed today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.